doing? What are you doing? You have my sports bra. Give it back. Drop it. Leave it. Ziggy. You're not listening. Leave it. You also made a field day with all my bikinis. Bad boy. Whatever. Good morning, fam. Today's vlog, as you know by the title of the video, is going to be a full weekend in our life. Today is Saturday, so we're gonna be starting it today, taking you through all of today, all of tomorrow, while also showing you how we live like still a healthy lifestyle, stay balanced on the weekend while enjoying fun foods we love, hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, going to restaurants, kind of relaxing while also just not totally like blowing all of our fitness and health goals at the same time. I thought it would be cool to show how you can kind of do both. You can enjoy the things you love and have fun and go out and do whatever, but you can also still like stay on your routine and stay healthy. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Lucas is already in the gym downstairs. I was gonna start this right when we woke up, but he was being crazy and I didn't. So it's a little bit later in the morning. We both had our coffee, we had our water, probiotic, all the stuff you guys have kind of already seen in like morning routines. And now I'm upstairs about to shoot content for a couple brands and then I'm gonna head down to work out. We've got a fun day ahead. We're going to the beach with some friends a little bit later and I think we're gonna get like acai bowls or lunch after that. Also, woke up to a pimple right in the middle of my forehead. So I scrubbed that thing, I iced it, and now I have a pimple patch on. Please go away. The first brand I'm shooting for is TLF. It's their new Seamless. So I have my little phone set up right here and I'm just gonna do an unboxing haul. Time to go get myself ready to work out. I'm gonna go meet Lucas down there. He's doing a very intense workout. He's in training for something right now, but I'm gonna do like my own thing on the side. I'm probably gonna do a full body from the July challenge. Let's go. I'm gonna make a little pre-workout cocktail. I'm gonna use Gainful Strawberry Lemonade. Stir it up. So part of being balanced on the weekend, I feel like is we still get movement in. Most of the time we take rest days on Sundays because that's the day we're like going on the boat with family or having like a very chill cleanup day at the house. And I think it's super important to have a full rest day. Just let your body recover from everything you've done that week and rest and chill and hydrate and get all the nutrients in, get ready to kickstart for the week. But I think it's also important to know that that rest day can be any day. Like it doesn't have to be Sunday and you should never feel bad for wanting to work out on the weekend. Like I've had family members and friends make sly comments before like, oh, she's so obsessed with fitness. You're gonna really work out on Saturday. You're gonna really work out on the weekend. Like one, not obsessed. It's just a huge part of my life. It makes me feel good. I feel my best self when I have got movement in and that's why I continue to do it on most days. That being said, do take a rest day. If working out makes you feel good and you love to start your day by some movement and some good sweat, do it by all means. If you've ever been in my boat, don't let anybody make you feel bad for doing something that makes you feel good. Something Something that betters you, something that's good for you. A lot of times my workouts are shorter on the weekends because I have stuff going on, like we're heading to the beach very soon. So I think I'm gonna do like a 35, 45 minute like hit style workout. It's gonna be a full body one from my July. All right, let's do it.
is complete. Lucas always spends more time in the gym than me, so he's finishing up. I think he's doing his like last finisher right now, but I'm gonna make us a very quick throwing together breakfast because we need to leave for the beach in like 20 minutes. Using these almond flour paleo tortilla things, and then I'm just gonna throw together some eggs with some coconut oil and avocado. That is breakfast, there's Lucas's, there's mine, and we're just going to eat this real quick. Lucas just finished up, how was it? It was <laughs> it looks so hot. Really tough, so I have those and then a protein shake. Um, and he's gonna shave real quick and then we're gonna head to the beach. Okay, we made it on the road, finally. We're gonna go meet a bunch of friends on the beach, get a good tan. It's been so rainy here like the past week, so I'm very, very excited. Chicken nuggets. Finally get some color. Chicken nuggets coming soon. Chicken nuggets coming soon. Away from things I let go, floating on the way. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain away. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. And face the another day, we go bottoms up. We're going to get acai bowls now. How predictable. Um, it was great. The water was beautiful. My face is crispy. Yeah. We got a lot of sun. It was like 90 something, but the UVs were like 11, 12, so it was smoking. My belly button's very burnt. Um, but yeah. Your belly button gets burnt? Yeah, look. Oh, wow. Well. Acai bowls. I can't acai bowls wait. it is. See you there. Yes. Bye, goodbye. Yes. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> it's so, so good. good. Okay. Cheers. We always eat this in the car because we can't wait to get home and we don't want it to melt. So we'll be eating in here. See you at home. Let's go. We had this plan to go out to eat to eat Thai food or sushi or something like that. And ended up here to eat dinner. So we're gonna go do that. I'll go show you what we get. I want sushi, some pizza, hot bar, all that good stuff. Excuse me. She's, guys, she's starving. She's just running around. So angry. <laughs> As Lucas said, I'm so hangry. But this is what we got. I'm gonna show you before I devour it real quick. I got an Olipop. I always get one of these with a meal. They're so good. And then, wow, this is so random. But this is what happens whenever I go to Whole Foods. I just literally load it up with so many random things because everything sounds good. So we've got like three types of chicken here, all different flavors, some potatoes and some zucchini, and then like a big salad with mushrooms and all this stuff on it. So that is the meal. Lucas is coming out in a second, but we're diving in. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. She was so hungry, she just left. I said, see ya. I'll get everything. I don't even know what I got. Oh, show me what you got real quick. Pizza. Um, pizza, pizza, and then just a lot of chicken. <laughs> Such a boy. Yeah. Okay, peace. We're gonna eat. Let's go. Ziggy! Hi! Ziggy! Oh, good boy. What do you want to go for? Do you want to go for the walk? <laughs> got back from walking Ziggy and I was thinking on my walk I realized I didn't give you guys any like tips while we were eating out tonight and that was one thing I wanted to do we went to Whole Foods tonight we were actually gonna go to like some Thai restaurant but we decided to go to Whole Foods last minute because we were yeah. starving usually if we were to go to a restaurant out say like a Mexican restaurant or something ways that I can still like eat meals that make me feel good feel my best but like also fun restaurant eating out meals I like to pick a protein first off so if I'm going say to a Mexican restaurant I'll do like they tacos or chicken tacos make sure I'm getting protein in my meal I will number one just eat intuitively like I'm very in tune with my body when I'm full I don't keep going you know overeat and feel sick after I savor the food I enjoy the moment I enjoy the experience of being at a table with whoever that I love is there and when I feel like full I stop I drink water and just kind of chill and I think that's another thing at restaurants they have like huge portion sizes sometimes to so just know what you need know what feels good and just be in tune with your body and 
what feels right when you're eating. At restaurants, you would be surprised how much you can customize your meals. Like, oh. I have so many, <laughs> I'm the queen of that. I have a lot of things that I know for a fact upset my stomach and don't make me feel my best, like dairy, um, high amounts of gluten, just certain things that I know I try to stay away from. And I can totally customize that at restaurants. I can ask for gluten-free toast. Um, I can say, leave the cheese and the sour cream and whatever off my salad. Like, don't be afraid to ask for the things you know are gonna make your body feel good because they don't care. Like, they can easily just tell the chef not to add it. That's a huge thing. Customize it to make it work for you. And at the end of the day, I think what all of this really comes down to is like eating the way your body feels the best. I always think about all of this as it's a lifestyle type thing and not um, annoying like I can't go out to eat. It's just like go have fun, eat what you want, and just try to make it make your body feel the best. I would just say don't call it a diet. Talk to yourself nicely. It's not a diet. You're on a healthy lifestyle. Go you ahead. get to do it. You don't have to do it. You get to do it. Tell yourself that. Okay, that's all for now. That was a big rant. On that note, I'm gonna go make some healthy ice cream. <laughs> but actually, there's a, a huge, there's a huge ninja ice cream yeah. maker right there. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. This is our drying rack. For dessert, we were gonna make uh, ice cream in the new like ninja blender thing. But you have to freeze something overnight for 24 hours and we didn't do that. So I think I'm gonna have not a boom, which this is a perfect example of what we're talking about. This is a dairy-free ice cream organic. And if you look at the ingredients, this is the most important part. The base of it is organic coconut milk and then water and then agave syrup. It doesn't have anything like sucralose or anything fake that's really like hurting your gut. That one is just sweetened with agave syrup, which is really nice actually. And yeah. makes it taste amazing. I have a real, real life question. And if you haven't done this, I want you to try it. Oh my gosh, sweet and chewy. Hold on. <laughs> you smell so bad. <coughs> Lucas, oh my god. Come back over here. Have you guys ever eaten ice cream with a fork? Are you, what do you think of that, Brendan? Is that psychopath or what? Psychopath. I do it. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of nice to me. Comment below, are you a forker or a spooner? <laughs> I can't live without you. Guys, I showed Lucas a TikTok I made of him and Ziggy that had this really sad song to Guys, it. Guys, he's gonna die on us one day. <laughs> no, Ziggy, you can't die. <laughs> he's gonna leave behind our kids just crying. Oh, come here, you're our first summer, summer boy. You're our first dub, Ziggy. You're our first son. Okay, we watched some Netflix and just been laying on the couch chilling, but it's time to go to bed. We are waking up pretty early tomorrow and doing something very fun and exciting. We're doing this thing called like e-foiling. It's like this surfboard thing, so <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. I just made this like golden latte as you saw really really good it turned out like super creamy the reason I made this this morning instead of coffee is because last night I woke up in the middle of the night and started that time of the month so I'm not feeling very well cramping really bad and I know that caffeine makes it a lot worse so I subbed my coffee for this my cramps were so bad in the middle of the night. I was like, I'm gonna have to text my friend and cancel our plans tomorrow. I can't go through with this. I was dying. But I feel way better this morning. Still like hurts, but way better than last night when I was like crying in bed. So we're gonna take some Motrin or Midol and drink this and get some food in me and still gonna go through with our plans. So I have a, just a little bit of work to do for my app because I post everything on Sunday. So I'm gonna do that, get that out of the way so that we can enjoy our day after. I will talk to you guys when I'm a little bit more awake because I really just rolled out of bed. Yo, what's up guys? I'm gonna take over this vlog because my wifey's on her cycle. <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta go. I'm at a red light, but I'm turning green now, so we're headed to the, um, I don't know what it's called. E-foil. E-foil, where you get on the boards and like float or whatever. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that now. I'm taking like five miles. So she's gonna be knocked out, and I'm gonna take care of us on this one. So. Okay, chocolate and ice cream today. Chocolate and ice cream is what she's wanting. And then I think we're going to sushi tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah.
that was so fun. I actually feel a lot better now, like getting out in the water and sunshine and doing some movement. Oh, oh guys, I'm gonna hit a pole real quick. Made me feel really good. And that was so, so, so much fun. Really challenging. I didn't if, think it was gonna be that hard. If you guys have never done it, I don't really know how you go and do it. I think they just have lessons you can rent them or they take you out and do them, but they, it was like. 10 out of 10 recommend. Now we are, well, I ate breakfast this morning, but Lucas forgot to, so he's hangry. And Lucas hangry now. I was hangry last night. He's hangry I'm not now. hangry right now. Yes, you are. Hungry. We're driving and saw this cute little like coffee shop shack on the road. So we're gonna go get coffee and see if we can find him like a muffin or something. Let's go. Let's go. There it is. Coffee cup. Cute. What you got? I got a crazy latte, signature drink, and a cinnamon roll and a blueberry muffin. I couldn't decide. So, and I'm starving. <laughs> First bite. Wow. So once again, yep. balance. Balance what you balance. want. I want to part with the ice. Is out here trying to do some lawn work, but he's not really made for this. Good job, babe. Do you enjoy hydrating the Lucas? Stop doing that. I had to write some positive affirmations in journal entries. Oh my gosh, my bun for the app for the next week. That's part of the July challenge. So, oh my gosh, so you got one. So, I thought it'd be fun to just lay out and tan while I do that. So, I'm laying in the grass right now and writing goes on my phone and getting a little back tan. You ready? All right, here she goes. This is my first time in here. Literally I the really, first time. really don't want to. Ziggy, watch out. <gasps> Look, it's so cold. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Duck, go Oh my gosh. Is it cold? It's freezing. How long do I have to go in? It's worth just dunking. It's, it's positive, so. Dunk. No, you don't gotta dunk. Just gotta sit in it and just stay for a couple minutes. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Babe. Just sit back. Don't sit on the pump, obviously. But you're supposed to spin the other way. Just sit in there, okay? Yeah, you're good. Look, he's looking. You look cute. See? Oh, you could do it. I mean, you've already probably helped yourself oh. now, so. Oh, my arm feels too good. It's normal, start passing out. Is it normal? I'm not kidding. I gotta see that blackness in my eyes. I gotta get out. That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I hate that. Never doing that again. <laughs> All right, well, that's her go. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit colder and then I'm gonna go. Oh, uh, so. we let it get colder. Hey, vlog. It is like an hour and a half later. I just got done tanning outside. You saw it jumped in the cold tub. That was so cold. I'm still like, my inside is still hurt from that. <laughs> I just finished up everything I needed to do for my app, which is like my main work on Sunday. I'm gonna make a protein smoothie because I'm getting a little bit hungry. And then I think I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm not working out today. It's my rest day, but so pretty outside. I just wanna put a podcast on and go get some steps in. So that's what I'm gonna do, but let's make the smoothie first. <laughs> It's a few hours later, it's six o'clock now, and we got ready to go to dinner. We're gonna go get sushi. Fit check, she's going first here. I got this dress from City Beach, Australia, and the shoes are from there too, but they're Sheesh. Converse. They're brand new, they're like way too white right now, but it's fine. So I threw that together, and then I just am wearing my hair natural. She because. looks nice and pretty. Simple, it's very girly. It's not something I'd usually wear, but we're going with it tonight. Like Let me do yours. Okay, okay, Luke has on. A little baggy button up uh -huh. from H&M. Wait, little, look at the material. It's kind of like, super cool. I don't know, what do you call this? It's like like towel material, terry towel. cloth. Terry, terry cloth. cloth. Uh, these jeans are from Zara, one of my favorite pair of jeans. They're actually tied on the ankles all the way up. Skinny jeans. Yeah, and white And then hands. from yeah. City Beach, Australia. Ziggy, could you do a fit check? Uh, I'm wearing my most perfect gold coat. You gotta go on your crate. No, 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 please, 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 no. Please don't make me go in the crate. Ziggy, crate. Because he won't look me in the eyes anymore. Oh, I do love you so much, so I wish <laughs> I could take you. 
I almost forgot. We always bring our own liquid aminos when we get sushi because we eat so much soy sauce. And we always wake up the next morning extremely puffy. Like you get to have your soy sauce, but actually have some benefits. And it tastes just like soy sauce. So health tip, if you wake up super puffy from soy sauce too, and just don't like the way like eating a ton of it makes you feel, liquid aminos bring it with you. Monday morning and I haven't looked over all the footage but I just have a feeling that I didn't vlog very well yesterday it was we didn't have like anything planned out and it was just running around a bunch of places we didn't really have our typical Sunday morning we didn't watch our church we had morning plans we didn't clean up the house and get ready for the week we didn't do our grocery shop which are things that we usually do on a regular Sunday so I thought I would carry this kind of into Monday just to show you some of those things because I don't think this vlog would be as helpful or as good without those things I woke up up early this morning and kind of just like tidied up our space you know just like picked up shoes and clothes and any like trash or anything around now it's a little bit later it's like 9 30 and i just got back from the grocery store which i did a massive shop for our week this stuff will last us like the next like four or five days it was exactly 199 dollars so split between two people that's about 100 dollars each split between five days three meals a day I can't do the math, but I'll put it on the screen how much that makes each meal around, which just shows like eating in and cooking your own food. One is so good because the ingredients are actually clean and you know everything that's going into your food and you make sure that it's fueling you properly and all of that. And it also keeps you financially healthy because when a meal is like however much I put on the screen versus what we spent last night at sushi dinner for one meal, like it adds up quick. I think grocery shopping, meal prepping, and planning out your week is a huge part of your weekend. I usually do that on Sunday, like I said, but today we're gonna do it on Monday because we slacked yesterday. So let's do the little like unboxing grocery haul. I'll show you what we got and some meal ideas that we do throughout the week. machine for the ice bath is on so I'm sorry if it's kind of loud in the background but this is the lineup so I'm just gonna walk you through it real quick we have all of our vegetables here so the bases is always spring mix salad and spinach and then we have these massive zucchinis broccoli asparagus some cilantro carrots bell peppers and onions and then over here for our fruits we have like fresh cut fruit I know that you can save money by getting like a full pineapple and cutting it yourself but honestly time is money right now and I feel like we're always running out of time so we have some fresh cut fruit already and then bananas Lucas likes them to be like this and I like them to be like this so we get two different kinds and then apples pears and like our carbs and stuff are all over here so we have sweet potatoes that is probably the carb that I eat the most I love them brown rice pasta this is gluten-free then we have chips for chips and salsa and popcorn as a snack paleo waffles that we just stick in the air fryer as well as paleo pancakes if we do have more time to make them kombucha and then we have like the salsas we have a green one and a red one and then this is the protein so we have two cases of chicken we have tilapia eggs ground turkey and ground beef and then we have egg whites over there as well as the almond milk and banana milk that is so good by the way just some coconut oil spray and then for desserts we have these dark chocolate chips and some cocoa whip to make like little mug cakes and fun little bowls and stuff. We still have like rice left over, oatmeal left over, and just little things like that. Um, almond butter and honey, like all the little toppings. So I didn't need to get that stuff. But yeah, this was all about $200. It lasts us a good like four to five days. It saves a lot of money and gives you the healthiest ingredients. So 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm starving now, so I'm gonna make some breakfast and just like sit down, work for a little bit. I have some posting to do, get back to some emails and get on with our Monday morning. She's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna eat this like I said and then get to work. Hello friends, it is a little bit later in the day now. It is actually four. I don't know why my clock always does that. It doesn't do that in real life, but on my camera it does. Anyways, 
That's besides the fact we are making some dinner and meal prepping everything we got from the grocery store now. So this is a huge thing for me that I, like I said, typically would do on a Sunday, but we're doing it on a Monday right now, is meal prepping. And by meal prepping, I don't necessarily mean making a bunch of like single meals, but making like sides and proteins, if that makes sense. So I can always just throw together a big bowl of something. So I'll have like a container of chicken, a container of sweet potatoes, a container of vegetables, rice, yada, 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 so that I can throw it all together. So we're gonna get to doing that, and I'll show you what I come up with. Also snacking on these bad boys while I cook, because am I the only one that always has to have a snack? my little dinner i have sweet potato chicken some veggies i put some of this lemon on and i'm going to add some olive oil based balsamic dressing as well and that is my little dinner we have the leftover preps so we've got some rice right here and then this prepped chicken and we still have veggies being prepped in there but that will all just go in these little glass containers and store in the fridge hello my humans this is what we have here for dinner some zucchini that brinley made some sweet potatoes that Brindley made. Some rice that Brindley made. And some chicken that Brindley made. She's the best. I'm gonna eat this now. She looks delicious. 